Greetings and namaskar to each one who came here to watch this video. So the topic of today's video is dimension and basis of a vector space. So before understanding these terms that is dimension and basis, there are two more important terms that we need to understand first. So these two terms are linearly independent and linearly dependent. So what is linearly independent? A set of n non-zero vectors phi1, phi2 till phi n is said to be a linearly independent if and only if the solution of the equation is summation i equals to 1 till n ai phi i is equals to 0. Now here it is given that a set of n non-zero vectors, the vectors we have all are non-zero means they have some values. Here it is phi i which is the vector. So it has some value. But here it is written that it is equals to 0. So the only condition when this term can be 0 is when this a i that is the scalar is 0. So when a1 equals to a2 equals to a3 equals to a n so when they will be equals to 0 then only this term will be equals to 0 as the vectors are non-zero. So a set of n non-zero vectors phi1, phi2 till phi n is said to be linearly independent if and only if the solution of the equation is 0. So this is linearly independent. Now coming towards the linearly dependent if there exists a set of scalars, means we are talking about scalars here, which are not all zeros. Here we saw that these are all zero, but here in this case they are saying that if they are not all zeros, so that of the vectors can be expressed as a linear combination of the others, means if this is not zero, means it will finally have some value. So that can be expressed in a linear combination of the others as psi n equals to summation i equals to 1 to n minus 1 a i phi i plus summation i equals to n plus 1 to n a i phi i where the set phi i is said to be linearly dependent as it has some value. So simply, if the scalars are all 0, then this term will be 0 and it would be linearly independent. And it has some value, then the vectors can be expressed as a linear combination of the others like this. And the set psi is said to be linearly dependent. Now moving towards the main topic and that is dimension. So the dimension of a vector space is given by the maximum number of linearly independent vectors the space can have. For example, phi1, phi2 till phi n. This is n dimensional. So, the dimension is simply the maximum number of linearly independent vectors. So, if the maximum number that a set has will define its dimension as it has total n number, so it will be n dimensional. Similarly, if we take only one dimension to define something, so it would be one dimensional. And if we take 2 as x and y, so it would be 2 dimensional. And if we take x, y, z, 3 coordinates, so it would be 3 dimensional. i cap, j cap, k cap, etc. and so on. So, in this n dimensional vector space, any vector psi can be expanded as a linear combination. Psi is equals to summation i equals to 1, 2n, a i, phi i. So this linear combination will define the vector in the n-dimensional vector space. Now basis. The basis of a vector space consists of the set of the maximum number of linearly independent vectors belonging to that space. So here the basis simply consists of the set of the maximum number of linearly independent vectors like phi1, phi2 till phi n. So it would be represented by the set phi i. So this set phi i is the basis of a vector space and the elements like phi1, phi2 and so on. So these elements are the base vectors. 
So here in the case of dimensions, we take the maximum numbers of vectors, while in the bases we take the maximum number of the set. Well, this was very simple topic in which we discussed the two terms that is linearly independent, then linearly dependent, and then the dimension and the basis. So that's it by my side. Thanks for giving your time here. Take care.